Well, let's talk wedding bells. When the pandemic hit last year, you remember this? So many people were anxious to get married. They had to scramble around and decide, well, should they move the wedding or cancel it or do it by Zoom or what? But this year, it's looking a lot different. On your side's Brianna Ray Turner says local couples and businesses are heading into peak wedding season with some caution and some celebration. Wedding season is full of love and stress at the same time. But during the pandemic, well, that's another story. Around the start of the new year, um, we started kind of trying to game out, you know, what the world was going to look like in 2021. Times Union columnist Nate Monroe is getting married in May. He says setting a wedding date took some planning and involved some risk. We didn't know if the vaccine rollout was going to be effective. We didn't know you know how those how things were going to look. But the event has become a truly post pandemic party with 85% of guests already vaccinated. Lainey Maddox, manager of a Jacksonville Beach bridal boutique, says business has been nonstop. We're we're staying very fully booked, so we're very grateful to be on a wait list every Saturday. We see anywhere from 12 to 15 brides on a Saturday. That's a big change from last year, says owner Melissa Moneypenny, when the city mandated that businesses temporarily close. Last year was a little scary because yeah. it was every Everything was so up in the air and mm -hmm. brides, we had a lot of cancellations for weddings and mm -hmm. brides were kind of up in the air and when they would be able to get married. All the more reason to celebrate a return to wedded bliss. The, the best. best. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best. That's the best feeling. That's why we do what we do is mm -hmm. to help women feel beautiful confident. and confident and you know, it's really special to us. In Jacksonville, Brianna Returner, First Coast News on your side. It's pretty dresses.